Everybody, it's Big Mess with Appalachian Flies. And I want to tie you folks up, hopefully, without interruption, a sofa pillow. You can tie them in various colors. The one that I currently have in my Norvice fly tying system with the fine point jaws. It's kind of an orange one that I came up with. Got a little bit different uh, configuration there on the front hackle. That is a medium bar ginger. It's got some variation with it in that particular feather, and I thought it looked pretty cool, honestly. Uh, but it's October, and orange is kind of the, the theme for Halloween, of course. We're in the week of Halloween. So you can do them in orange. You can do them in various shades of orange, such as this guy right here. A little bit different hair on this one here, of course. Um, so anyway, when I'm done with this here, hopefully you'll try to tie some up on your own and you'll vary the colors on it to kind of maybe match the fish food in your particular neck of the woods, wherever that is. So for the hook, I'm actually going to use a fulling mill. I like their hooks. They're really good hooks. It's a FM 1270. This is a size 12 and I'm going to insert that there into my fine point jaws on my Norvice. I'm going to kind of position that right in there, get it close, and whammo. You can see we're ready to set to go. Uh, this is actually a living, lar living larva hook, easy for me to say. It's a 3x long. It is a, um, you know, it's it's got the curved down shank but it's also got the straight eye on it. And, and I do like the straight eye on some of these particular patterns, but you adapt this fly to the particular hooks that you currently may have or what's available in your area. As far as thread, I'm gonna use some Semperfly Classic Waxed. It is an 8.0, it is an orange. Once again, kind of feel free to use the, the color to match what you're trying to tie. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my thread down to where the barb on the hook is okay so right there's going to be a tie-in point for our next material our next material is going to be some nature spirit it is a, it is select cow elk uh, this one here has actually been dyed orange so i'm going to get me a small little clump out of here out of this patch right quick like reach over here and grab this they always say a pencil's width, and I'm very confused at that statement. Always have been. So you can kind of make your tail a little thick if you want to. You can make it thin if you want to. It's your fly. And the, the important thing is, is that you do get everything all cleaned out. As you can see in there, that's cleaned out quite nicely. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that in my Dr. Slick hair scissors. Like so. And I'm gonna reach over here and tap this so I'm not shaking a camera. And what I'm doing is I'm straightening up those ends. Perfect, looks really good. I'm real happy with that. It's gonna look real nice. As you can see, those turned out quite nicely. As you can see, my thread's been sitting there kind of spinning. I want to kind of eyeball where I want my tail, how long I want my tail to be. Now it looks pretty close, so I'm going to switch this from my right hand to my left hand. I'm going to counterclockwise spin my auto bobbin. I'm going to do a pinch wrap, get that in there and pinch it. And now I'm just going to slowly make my way up the hook shank. And as I get closer up here to this point, I'm going to put some really good pressure on it. And the reason is I don't want that to spin or rotate. Um, that tells a little long, but that it'll still it'll still be fine. It's okay. I'm going to proceed with that. Um, but you don't want your materials to to spin on you. Okay. So I'm going to take my scissors. I want to reach in here. I want to kind of clip off those butt ends, just like so. Rotate my vise. One of the nice features of a Norvice is the fact that you can rotate it around. You know, see see what you got to work with, get in those places. Then I actually find myself in a lot of times turning it in this position so I can work my way around that barb or, you know, whatever I'm working with in a particular time. And that's the beauty of, of having the flexibility with the Norvice. You do have four locking index points, zero degrees um, on there, uh, obviously 90, uh, 180 and you, you get it I'm not one of those 
fancy people, so it works. Anyway, so as far as dubbing on this one here, I'm going to be using, once again, is some Simplify. It is orange, but it's a sparkle dubbing. I like the look that I get on this particular pattern with this here, uh, but K-Pock and Superfine, things like that would also work well. You just kind of use the dubbing that kind of matches the look you're trying to get out of it. Now, traditionally, a lot of my patterns, I would be rotating my vise to dub this on here, uh, but I'm just going to do this the old way here momentarily and still use some of the rotating features of my vise. So I'm going to manipulate that down into that bend and I'm going to start working this up nice and slow, paying close attention to this underbody. I'm going to try to get that as even as possible in through there. It looks quite nice. Hopefully y'all can see that. And I do like a little bit of this, the spikiness of this dubbing here. It doesn't have to be super smooth at all. So I'm just gonna lay this in here just like so. Oop, that's a little bit of a tumor. I don't wanna do that. Okay, come in here like so. Once again. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's see there momentarily. Looks like I missed a little spot right there. If you haven't already done so and you're watching this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I continue to try to grow this thing here. Kind of set myself up for some of my own stuff there. I'm not getting any younger, so I want to do some of my own stuff on my own channel there. And that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go just a smidge more. Perfect. And be sure to comment. Um, you know, tell me some of the things you'd like to see me tie. I do tie a lot of dry flies, a lot of the traditional, as you would call it, mountain flies for the mountains of North Carolina. So if there's a particular pattern that you potentially would like to see, just go ahead and let me know and I'll do my best to maybe pop that out there for you. Or if you want me to go fish a specific location and do a small little video on that, I'm uh, really starting to get opportunities to do that a little bit more. So I'd love to do that for you. So right here, as you can tell, I've got our dub body and our next item is going to be some crystal flash. And you see, I'm actually using these hackle pliers right here to hold these for me. Uh, the color on this may be similar to a root beer, or whatever. I, I can't tell you exact. My apologies on that. But the point is, use what you got. And I'm going to double this over. As far as fibers, I mean, you count right quick. You tell me. Um, but I'm going to double this bad boy over. I want to bring it in with my thread set it on top of my hook and I'm making these wraps and I want to kind of get on top of that okay just like so perfect real happy with that and then as far as our length you want to lay it down across the back of the hook and you want it to almost be even with the tail the tips of the tail we snip that right there that's going to be a great underwing and then you take your hackle pliers grab them and lay them on your workbench, whatever that may be. Now, every once in a while, you might get an errant fiber or so. Don't do what I just did. I didn't mean to do that. Um, you know, so you may have to do a little bit of hair cutting there. That's perfectly okay. You know, that's the way it is. But this stuff here is all going to work together in this hair in just a moment. I promise you that right there. All right. So the next material we're going to use is once again is going to be some more of this nature spirit select cow elk this particular time i'm going to get a little bit bigger bunch here so i'm going to reach in here into my patch which is actually a, you know they give you a pretty good size patch um, which is nice so it's a good value for the dollar when you get down to it you know it's it's all about getting that value for sure kind of doing the same thing so i'm going to clean everything out as much as i can Get all that stuff in there beautifully done and then we're going to stack this just like we did the other hair and we're going to tie it in the crystal flash adds a great effect to the fly when the sun hits it it's very very natural and i've actually in the past tied um down wings with crystal flash and that was it and it was 
work quite nicely. When the sun hits it, it gives a great translucently type look to it. It's a very natural look to it. So if you're kind of experimenting maybe out there with a pattern that you on your own, that could be something that you might want to consider yourself, uh, you know, doing. And that's the beauty of tying your own flies is you actually are in charge and you can do what you want. Tips are lined pretty closely. I'm pretty happy with that. So now we've kind of got a decision to make. Where do we want that to be? Once again, about the length of the tail that we currently have. So this camera angle here in the five point jaw should be doing a good job of seeing that. So I'm where I want to be. I want to transfer over to my left hand there once again. I want to spin that thread, thread management. I've got it in my fingers. I want to pinch down on top, loose, loose, tight. And now I want to start biting through those front fibers or tips or butt sections of this particular elk and look at there we never break our thread right so i just did let's pull on that pretty hard so what do we do I'm gonna reach over here i'm going to grab my all peach um what do you call this it's a dental floss threader i want to thread this bad boy up here right quick come in here and recapture oops and it slid right out again this video folks everything that could go wrong with it so far today is going wrong with it y'all ever have days like that if you do comment down below and let me know because i don't know about y'all it usually don't happen it's like all right so let's see what we've got to work with here right quick beautiful love it okay so i'm going to recapture that there right quick come in here capture that got it okay wrap it through capture nothing is lost look at there we did pretty good and I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to trim off these butt sections and this is going to be our ramp for our front hackle we are almost done actually barring any more accidents to give it a haircut and one of the things that you probably can notice on this if you haven't already done so is look at how that crystal flash has really married up in with that uh, um, elk hair there's one errant fiber but it's done a nice job of that it marries up in there really really well so um, that is really important so we want to make sure we got a nice ramp kind of coming forward we want to clean this up i want to put in a half inch two half inch redundancy and i'm going to go ahead and grab our hackle fiber in this particular hackle fiber um, this is actually a whiting farms it's a number 14 it's a barred medium ginger some of these there are some variants on these which is really really nice this is a size 12 hook but you have to keep in mind we've actually added bulk to this particular hook so you want to match that feather up to what you're tying so it may not be exactly if you're tying a size 12 it may not be a size 12 feather that you need to be using so you know that's something you need to always somewhat compensate for i have taken and stripped off the bottom barbules of this particular stem i'm going to lay that on my side of the hook i'm going to get that started and I'm now going to secure down the stem, working myself forward, side by side wraps. I'm really flattening this out in here quite nicely. It's one of the nice things about this Semperfly thread is it does give you a nice flat base to work with. And I'm gonna leave this eye open here for sure. I'm gonna put in another half hitch. I'm going to secure my automatic bobbin, auto bobbin over here on the um, thread cradle. I'm going to make sure that I've got the tension knob tight on my uh, rotating feature of my vise and I'm going to grab my feather and I'm basically going to start walking this up side by side wraps and let's see how this one here turns out. Let's see if I can get that started and sometimes getting this, this first one started here that first wrap is the most difficult. I'm just walking this up here side by side by side pretty close letting that hackle do its thing as we go forward up here almost to our tie-in point which is going to be right there i want to bring my thread back over 
I'm going to capture the hackle stem a couple of times. I'm not worried about those fibers. We'll get those out of the way here in just a moment. I uh, will take a half hitch tool. I am going to come in here and just slide this off nice and easy. And with this larger eye of this hook, as you can see right there, that allows you the opportunity to feel that thread slide in there, which is really nice. Rotating my vise away from me, I'm gonna reach in here with my fine point Dr. Slick scissors. I'm gonna trim that hackle away and I can get one more fly out of that particular feather. I'm gonna trim away anything in there that I feel like is a little errant. I see just a little spot right there I want to get rid of. Now I'm going to take my whip finish tool and I'm gonna do a whip finish. One, two, three, four, five. Going over top of that, securing that pretty tight. I'm going to reach in here with my scissors secure that it looks really nice and clean to me awesome it looks fantastic i'm going to set my scissors away and my new norvice tool caddy tool tray whatever you want to call it there so as you can see we've got a fly here it looks really cool it's really really orange um there are a lot of different color combinations you can do in it and the last thing i'm going to do to finish off this fly is going to take some solar as bone dry with the uh, fine point tip i'm going to reach in here i want to steady my hand i want to coat that quite nicely and a little tip for you folks there a little pro tip coming your way so if your solar as by chance in in this glass bottle starts to crystallize it's not bad all you got to do is put that in your microwave for about 15 seconds uh, i think you got to heat it up to about 125 and it will renew that just like it's brand new so if you have that and it's done that on you before it's it's not bad at all you just need to heat that up to 125 in your microwave for about uh, 15 10 to 15 seconds there i've done it it works it will renew your bottle to back to the day it was that you bought it at your favorite fly shop uh, as you can see here i'm hitting that with my torch i'm locking that down in place so we have a fly there it's going to be really good for us nice and secure the eye is clean very happy with that and right there is an easy fly to tie similar to a um, stimulator but it's called a sofa pillow and in the spirit of Halloween week here in 2021 why not tie up one of those guys so there we go hope you folks enjoy that video um, you can kind of see the difference here between this one and this one just your variation in colors but that's the cool thing about some of these feathers sometimes you have to just kind of um, mix and match and you get some great color combinations hope you folks give this fly a shot let me know what you think if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing and there's a button right kind of down below right there we'll catch you on the next fly time video and remember this before i sign off pretty flies catch fishermen and ugly flies catch fish Y'all take care.